Did you know every one in five people complains of varicose veins in India? Varicose veins occur due to malfunctioning of valves that aid in the blood flow back to the heart. In the initial stages, varicose veins may or may not be spotted by the naked eye. Over time, spider veins in the form of small spider web like formations become visible on the legs. Varicose veins are formed when the pooled blood causes the veins to become enlarged, swollen and prominently visible as bulging out from the skin surface of the legs and feet. Lack or delay in treatment can lead to complications in the form of skin discoloration along with edema, thus leading to active venous ulcers, chronic venous insufficiency and blood clots in deep veins. Different people experience different symptoms of varicose veins such as pain and discomfort in the legs, irritation and itching in the legs, pressure and swelling around the ankle, feeling of heaviness and tightening in the calves, throbbing in legs. 85% of leg ulcers are caused by varicose veins. Varicose veins may be caused due to poor lifestyle, obesity and lack of physical activity, excessive smoking and consumption of alcohol, wearing tight clothes and or high heels sitting or standing for long durations, past history of blood clots, hereditary and genes, pregnancy. There are various available treatment methods for varicose veins, vein ligation, vein stripping, sclerotherapy, radiofrequency ablation, endovenous laser treatment. At Avis Vascular Center, we have a simple and straightforward treatment procedure. After your registration, you receive a primary consultation from a senior doctor who also does a physical examination of the damaged area to check for the presence of varicose veins. Free duplex ultrasound scan is then performed to confirm the severity and location of the varicose veins. The interventional radiologist discusses your ultrasound scan reports in detail in the secondary consultation. Accurate and in-depth financial counseling is done to help you understand the single package cost before the endovenous laser treatment. Dr. Raja V. Kopala, the founder of Avis Vascular Center, is a distinguished vascular interventional radiologist with 24 plus years of medical experience and 12,000 plus satisfied patients. He is a highly acclaimed healthcare practitioner renowned for his excellence in painless and minimally invasive laser treatment of varicose veins. So today we will be performing a varicose veins endovenous radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation is exactly like a laser ablation. Both are same for all practical purposes. The entire procedure is performed through this small needle. There is no cutting, no stitching, no anesthesia. So we, we put this needle into the patient's leg and then we identify that, identify the vein using that ultrasound machine. So that machine which is basically the probe, this is the probe of the machine. This is on during the entire duration of the procedure so that we can see exactly where the blood is leaking from. During the entire procedure, patient is fully awake. She has not get any significant anesthesia, no spinal anesthesia is given, no cuttings are performed, no stitches are performed. So she is fully awake, she is talking to us to the, to, during the entire procedure. The other part of it is, this is the laser fiber. Okay, so this is a radio frequency fiber. So through this needle, we put this fiber inside and into the body and then the back of the fiber is attached to this machine and this machine, this machine will, will switch on this machine and slowly pull the fiber out and this entire procedure lasts about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, patient can walk immediately and perform all activities including using the bathroom or going to her home or walking up the steps or anything like that. There is no cutting, there is no stitching, there is no requirement for any anesthesia and the recovery is almost immediate. But the most important thing is 
After performing this procedure, the success rate of varicose veins laser ablation or radiofrequency ablation is upwards of 97%. Post care four layer bandage. Post surgery, every patient will be advised to take 10 days of antibiotics. Depending on the complaints, uh, if the patient is suffering with blackish discoloration and ulceration, post surgery, the patient would be asked to take IV antibiotics and a four layer bandage which shall be changed every 10 days until the ulceration and the blackish discoloration heals and patients with complaints like swelling, pain, burning sensation and numbness would be advised to take oral antibiotics and compression stockings for three months. At Avis hospitals our doctors specialize in the painless treatment of lymphedema and wound care. Napir Samson and I have been talking about the problem for the past 10 years. I was diagnosed in 2008-2009 in Vizag. I was able to do a Rajavi Koppalagar and I was able to do an operation in a laser procedure. It was a very simple operation. And immediately, one or two hours later, I was discharged from the hospital. Now everything is fine. Avis Vascular Center, India's only comprehensive hospital for varicose veins and lymphatic disorders.